All right, we are back with our 50 Horror Classics box set review. Uh, we are on to the second film, which is The Ape, starring Boris Karloff as Dr. Adrian the Scientist. Next up, we'll have Adam Age Vampire. So the first three interesting films. Now, The Ape is a 1940 film. It gets a 4.6 to 7 on IMDb. It is one hour and two minutes long. And to be honest with you, the film kind of felt a little bit longer. Not that it was bad, but we have Francine, who's a girl that's suffering from polio. And she's wheelchair-ridden. And Dr. Adrian, who doesn't have a really good... Um, reputation with the town he's trying to treat her and he finds out a way to be able to treat her by using human spinal fluid meanwhile all this is happening and her and her boyfriend are, are going to be going to the circus that is recommended to them by Dr. Adrian again portrayed by Boris Karloff and all hell breaks loose at the circus there's a fire and this big ass gorilla gets loose <clears throat> and then the gorilla confronts Dr. Adrian. He ends up killing the gorilla, but ends up getting his suit and going after more people and killing them for their spinal fluid. Or if there's anybody that's brought in for their spinal fluid, Dr. Adrian is going for them. Because he wants to. He has like this obsession with getting this girl to be able to walk again. And... That's basically the premise of the film. Is he out of his mind? Is he does he have you know good intentions, or is he just a crazy mad scientist doctor? You know the people already hate him. They're already trying to get rid of him, so he's also trying to defend himself. So there's a lot of thick storylines with this film. And uh, let me go over this and give you my thoughts here on the film. So for this one. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the circus atmosphere for what it was. A lot of stock footage. But, you know, uh, I thought the ape sequences were cool. The costume set design was good. I thought the acting was good. Great storyline. Uh, for an hour and two minutes, you really can't beat a nice little film like this. Uh, I give this one on the Boglin scale definitely a solid four out of five on the Boglin scale. I guess it could have went a little longer for me, to be honest with you. I could have seen a little more violence than what you got to see in the film. But I know, we're talking about 1940. And apparently this was the last of six films agreed upon by uh, Boris Karloff to work with a certain uh, distribution company or company that um, was using him for acting, basically. <clears throat> uh, overall. Now, uh, there's these kids in the film that were just a bunch of little heads <laughs> they really uh, they hated everybody they would throw rocks at the doctor's house and they would lie about his intentions and stuff like that so it's really it's kind of a revenge film also kind of a success film also kind of a mad scientist type film all broken into one but uh, let me know if you've seen the ape I'm sure most of you have uh, this set like I said this has got a lot of great stuff on it we got Vincent Price Boris Karloff Bella Lugosi, Lon Chaney, many more favorites. I got a lot to cover. This is only the second of 50. Hope you guys enjoy these films and these reviews. And I review practically every other day or every day. I hope you guys are enjoying the uploads. Let me know what you want to see out of Hobbs Horror. Catch up with you later. Have a great week. Peace. Welcome, welcome to the house on the A6 block I'm just chilling on the porch in my chair I rock I'm your host Jimmy Biggs with the ghoulish grip The only light outside is the full moon grip Welcome, welcome to a world mixed with evil and good If you ain't plan on staying then you misunderstood This ain't a nightmare The figment of imagination Step inside and the house will awaken